Hey there, everybody. This is Dave with Beyond Facts. And I'd like to explain to you real quickly why things are the way they are. I'm not editing a video. I don't have any special lighting. I don't have a funky background yet because I just want to come directly to you guys and start talking. I don't want to spend nine hours of my day doing something that's not reaching anybody. I want to reach as many people as I can. And then perhaps later we'll focus on better quality arrangements and setups and maybe it will just become a way of life. But as of right now, I don't want to focus so much on giving you the best quality picture with the lights and the backgrounds and everything else because that takes time. Time and money I don't have, but mainly time. It takes about nine or ten hours of my day to do that for you and if I'm doing that every day and not getting paid for it there's other things in my life that are more important than not getting paid and wasting so much of my valuable time so if I start getting paid you guys want to pay me you could go to uh, patreon.com slash idioms i-d-i-o-m-z you could do that and uh, if I start getting more support I'll definitely clean this up to make it better but you are listening to beyond facts you are watching beyond facts it's something i'm experimenting with and i'd like to get a lot better hell even if i can't bring you the direct visual clips during this i would love to start bringing in some audio clips okay i know with my computer it's 10 years old so i can't really do all the things i want to do with that but i know there's certain things i could potentially do like bring up an audio clip as i'm talking about certain things like the first story you know the first story i want to talk to you guys about comes from uh, fox news it's the bot botched execution in uh in alabama inmates or it's an alabama inmates botched execution okay they uh pretty much tortured this guy but i would love to be able to pull up the, the screen and i do have the x split and all that shit for you guys that i can do that but i notice when it comes across it's like i'm watching a, a chinese movie it's like someone's dubbing my audio on top of the video and it's like i say something and my lips go wow and then i say something again my lips go I don't like how that looks. I would rather have you look at this than deal with that, and I'll figure that out later and later as I go. And once everything starts to get better, that will come into play too. But the title is Botched Execution Was Torture That May Have Punctured Alabama's Inmate's Bladder, the lawyer says. So this dude uh, in the 80s, I don't know if it was 85 or 86, it was in 87. In 1987, he uh, murdered a, a hotel clerk. And uh, he's pretty much been on death row since, you know, he uh, got found guilty. He was put under trial and found guilty. So he's been on death row. And he was supposed to get death by injection. He has uh, another lymphoma disease. He has lymphoma disease. And they couldn't find a usable vein. <laughs> so they went around poking this dude, poking this dude, poking this dude, poking this dude. And the lawyers are like, well, this is torture. Well, the motherfucker was on death row. I mean, like, too bad they wouldn't do this to, like, a Charles Manson sort or, you know, somebody that killed more than one person, uh, just one motel clerk, because this guy just killed one person. I'm saying just, like, as it's justified. It's not. That's not what I mean. But too bad they didn't torture somebody else that, like, fucking raped a child or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of that, how come this motherfucker gets the death sentence? For killing one person, but you could rape a child and be out in 15 fucking years. Doesn't make a sense to me. Doesn't make a sense. Doesn't make any sense to me. You should be fucking dead. You should be right there with them. Getting a goddamn lethal injection. What the fuck? What the hell is wrong with our country when a person could murder a person and get the death penalty and somebody that fucking rapes a child doesn't even get a life term? Yeah, that's fucking crazy. That's nuts. On to the next story. The next story is still brought to you by Fox News. Oh, I do want to let you know my internet may be cut off here in the next few days. So I probably won't be uploading every day. And then when I do do it, I'm going to do like probably six or four or five uploads because it will be back on Friday at least. I'll do four or five uploads back to back. But the only information I'll be getting it from will be our local newspaper and we only have one of those so it won't be as informative and as 
broad reaching as I would like it to be. It will just be uh, one news outlet's opinion of what the hell's going on in the world. All right. So in St. Louis, a man shoots a U.S. Marshal, prompting a standoff with the police and SWAT team. If you haven't heard that out there in St. Louis, there is a fucking standoff. I know the big hype right now is gun control and uh, what happened in Parkland, Florida with the, the children. But um, a marshal was reportedly shot in the chest while trying to serve a search warrant on Monday at a home in northeast St. Louis County, prompting a brief standoff with police and SWAT. The marshal, who is currently being treated at a hospital, is believed to be okay. Oh, that's fucking awesome. I'm glad he's not dead. So what was the, uh, issue, the warrant issued? An arrest warrant was issued for Watson after he failed to show up in court in November following a domestic assault conviction. So it was a domestic violence, and I'm not sure. It probably doesn't say too much. Maybe on the videos it will say a little bit more. But, I mean, if uh, somebody is busting down your door, I mean, in my mind, I'm not sure about St. Louis, but here we have the Castle Doctrine, and we have Stand, stand Your Ground out in Florida. So if someone's busting in my door, I have the right to shoot them. Now, I don't know if that's a determinant factor with law enforcement, if I'd be allowed to do that if I had a warrant, but... I'm almost assuming this guy was kind of scared. And why was the U.S. Marshal team there for a domestic violence warrant? It, I don't know. Something's not adding up in that story. I didn't do any research. I'm just reading the article. Uh, but <clears throat> if I had a team behind me, maybe there would be a little bit more research. But, yeah, it looks like it was a domestic violence warrant. They bust in. The guy defends his property, defends his life for all he knows, shoots the dude. And uh, this is what's going on. So, be careful, um, I guess. Know if you have a warrant so you don't shoot a sheriff's deputy or a police officer or a U.S. marshal uh, in the chest. But I don't see how he'll be charged for this. So let's see if they're going to try to charge him for that. Uh, uh, is wanted for first-degree assault and domestic assault. Uh, during the trial, a woman testified that Watson choked and body slammed her. All Watson says she came at him with a knife. Um... Yeah, I don't know if the guy's dead or not either. It's hard to say. I, I don't know if uh, William Watson Jr., which was the guy who shot the U.S. Marshal, I don't know if he's dead or alive. It's not really saying anything. It's just uh, saying that the guy he shot is alive. But, I mean, I say he was protecting this family and protecting this house, protecting himself from an unknown source trying to break down this door. I don't see any wrongdoing there. And, if you disagree, please comment below. Please comment and disagree with me and tell me that he was wrong because I feel he was right. Even though he does have a warrant for a domestic violence charge, he was right defending his damn property. I believe he was right. And especially if the woman was coming after him with a knife, what the fuck are you supposed to do besides body slammer? Just saying, if you disagree with me, shout at me. Don't forget to like this video even if you disagree, like or dislike, I don't give a shit. Comment, though. Comment is the main thing. This is how we could start even more discussions and debates, and I could get more in tune and really piss you guys off. This is what I'm looking forward to. I'm really looking forward for debates, okay? But, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want to give me free money, it's at patreon.com slash idioms. That's I-D-I-O-M-Z. The next story I have for you <laughs> is about United Airlines yet again. No, no, nobody was being drug off and being assaulted by United this time, okay? <laughs> but a passenger abandons the plane via emergency chute. So uh, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't read the article. I just pulled it up because it seemed kind of humorous to me. And I'm sick of all this bullshit talking about fucking killing and children dying because I have a young son. So... I thought it was funny. This guy gets arrested. He's on the plane, and he's like, bloop, pulls out that freaking slide that comes down, that bouncy slide, and goes, bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> anyway, this guy gets arrested. So uh, let's see what the article has to say. A would-be United Airlines passenger was placed under arrest at Newark Liberty International Airport after abandoning his yet-to-depart plane. Yeah, no, so it was, though it was still on the ground, but yeah, so it didn't put the part. I don't know what this fucker said. Uh, Troy, <clears throat> excuse me. Troy Futon, or Fatan, 25, had reportedly boarded United Airlines Flight 1640 from Newark, New Jersey, to Tampa on Sunday. 
He was coming to where I live. He was coming from New Jersey to Tampa. Ah, that's funny. On Sunday evening, but soon headed straight for the rear of the aircraft while the other passengers were finding their seats. According to WCBS, Fatoon, Fatoon then opened the emergency exit and deployed the inflatable chute <coughs> before sliding down to the tam- tarmac where he was apprehended by police. Why? Does it say why? At about 10 p.m., subject to the law enforcement sources say, say a panicked Faton insisted he didn't belong on the plane, although the port authority had confirmed he had been indeed carrying a ticket. Uh, it sounds like he panicked. Man, don't panic at the airport. You will get arrested. I don't blame them for arresting him. I don't know what they're going to charge him with. Uh, it doesn't really say what they're going to charge him with right here. No one was injured. Um Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to charge him with, but sounds like he just got fucking scared. Sounds like me. I haven't been on a plane while well, I was on one a few years ago, a little small one, but I haven't been on a plane since I was about 16, mainly because I hate flying. It scares the living bejeebus out of me. Now, I, as a 32-year-old man, I'm a little over it. I'll hop on. I definitely wouldn't freak out like this guy unless I was on some freaking uh, drugs, like what they prescribed me on when my leg got chewed off, like uh, the uh, fake opium the uh synthetic opioids uh like the oxycodone and crap freaking i'd probably freak out if i was on that shit but sober no i'm good <laughs> Fuck it, dude. oh and in other news did i just turn that can you still see me i think i just turned the fucking camera again i did Whee. there we go there we go i wonder when that happened i hope that just happened because i just hit it so in other news, InfoWars was hacked, taken down after CNN calls for Alex Jones to be silenced. You know, I've been watching a lot of InfoWars recently, and I, I kind of like this dude, Alex Jones. But I think this, I call bullshit. I smell some serious bullshit right here because I watched the fucking video. I went to InfoWars.com, and guess what wasn't taken down? InfoWars.com wasn't taken down. The Alex Jones channel show or whatever on YouTube wasn't taken down. None of their other, well, maybe some of the other shit. I don't know how many outlets they have, but fucking that wasn't taken down. I, I still could go on here, and this is where I actually had the article, you know. It was hit by a DDoS attack. Oh, and Prison Planet. I guess they have the stuff right there, but, you know, I, I don't know. Alex Jones issued a red alert and sounds the alarm to patriots across the United States and the world that Infowars.com is under a hack attack by Democrat organizations that wish to silence them. And then it has a 50% off True Way protein ad and some videos. I'm not going to play the videos for you. If you want to, you can go to Infowars.com slash Infowars. Hack taken down after CNN calls for Alex Jones to be silenced. Now, I think no matter what side you're on or what you're doing, no matter what platform, if you're that big and people are noticing you, you have that many people noticing you, I'm sure people are going to be trying to hack you from every which way. I mean, especially Alex Jones, he pisses a lot of fucking people off, you know, from what I see in what his associates do. I mean, I don't understand why, because, you know, if it is reported, he he doesn't do too much fact checking uh, about the stories, but he just reads the stories and what other people are reporting on that are actually in the news, like Fox News, MSNBC, CNN. So they published an article. He reports on that article, kind of like what I'm doing now. And then he gets the fucking backlash from it for giving his fucking opinion over it. I mean, dude, all this stuff that he reports on, he gets from them. Like this whole gay frog thing, he got that from a scientific study from a professor that was on some other news source. And all this other stuff that he reports on, he has the articles right in front of him that he prints out from all of these news sources. So for anybody that's claiming Alex Jones is the fucking dipshit. He's the one just reporting on the already reported news. So you have to kind of look at those stories and take those in context of what he's doing. But everybody just wants to get on the bandwagon of saying, fuck Alex Jones. I like uh, 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 Millie Weaver and uh, I remember her name because she's kind of cute with the blonde one. Um, and then the dude like Chase something. I'll probably know his name here in a few days. Uh I like what they're doing. I like how they get in the crowd and they actually report on that stuff. I mean, I don't see too many jump cuts, and I see them right there asking these people that are like, hey, what are you doing out here? What do you stand for? Now, do I think that they could indulge in facts and shit like uh, Steven Crowder? Ken, I don't think so. I don't think they'd be able to 
really be right there. How he sits down and says, hey, change my mind and give all these facts. I don't think that they can sit there like that with as Steven Crowder would do. I think they're getting there. I, I think after a couple of years of doing a couple more years of doing this, potentially they'll be right there. I love that, man. I wish I could do that. I, I can't retain that type of information, nor do I even know how to study to get that information out. I mean, something I'm working on. But anyways, in other news, and don't forget, ooh, snappers, I keep doing that. Don't forget, if you like what you're seeing, smash that like button. Subscribe to this channel. If you want to argue with me or if you just want to tell me how awesome I am, Comment in the section, comment section below. If you want to pay me your hard-earned money and provide this awesome content that I provide, go to patreon.com slash idioms. That's I-D-I-O-M-Z. Plug. Damn, we're going on 16 minutes. So I went through like, what, four news articles in 16 minutes. I think I'm just going to do this real quick, okay, because uh, I still have, like, another five that I have up here. So the next one I was going to talk a little bit about was uh, Glenn Beck calls for crackdown on free speech. I haven't heard anything about it, but I've seen it pop up. I haven't watched anything because I really don't give a fuck because I heard Glenn Beck's a, a quack anyways. So I heard that years ago by my uh, grandmother-in-law. And uh, the next one would be on CNN politics. Trump says not to be afraid of NRA. Says he's writing out use of bump stocks. Yeah, so he's going to uh, get rid of bump stocks and don't be afraid of the NRA. I have nothing wrong with the NRA, and they will stand here just as long, if not longer, than some of these other companies. I mean, I support the NRA. I support uh, the right to bear arms, and I support the fact that you should learn what you're doing with a fucking gun. Uh, here's another one from CNN. Attorney for former Parkland School Resource Officer Defends Response to Shooting. Uh, I don't know. I still believe this guy was a coward, but here's some more information on CNN that came out today, February 26th of 2018 at 1 29 PM that you can look up yourself because I'm running on 16 minutes and we still have three more articles that I want to briefly talk about. I don't have time to read it because if I had time to read it, then we'd be going on like 45 minutes, but at least I'm getting a gist of how long the 10, articles that i wanted to talk about is going to take so now i could actually get real news and talk slowly about the two or three articles that i want to talk about throughout the day so senate midterm senate's midterm calculations could scuttle gun debate before it begins see i'm kind of at a cash 22 with this one i don't know exactly what they mean by scuttle i'm not going to look that shit up but i think they pretty much mean it's going to throw that gun debate crap under the rug if anything i think it could make or break the actual election how do you feel about guns and blah 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 than the majority of Either if you're right for the guns or if you're left against the guns, it's going to determine on who you vote for. But I think that's going to be a very heavy thing that the Senate's and the congressmen and everybody is going to be focusing on. I think that's going to be a, a huge pivot point, but it seems to happen. This shit always seems to happen during these election things because a day, you know, uh, five or six days after this happened, I had somebody, because I am a registered voter, I had somebody come to my door and say, hey, how important are the midterm elections? It will take 30 seconds for you to do this, and then you get a little card, boom, this is where you do it, and, and this is where you vote. So I, I think maybe it was a, a false flag. I'm, I'm not saying it didn't happen. Of course, the fucking kids got shot. It's a travesty. It's a just it's horrible. But how come a few days later these people are knocking on my door talking about fucking midterm elections? Conspiracy? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not too much of a cons conspiracy nut. I do believe in certain things that potentially other people would find crazy. We'll get into that in the future. You'll know more about my crazy theories in the future. But we're not talking about that now. But I think that's going to be a huge thing with the midterm elections. I don't think it's going to go under the rug. I think it's going to be mainly about the fucking guns. I don't think it's going to be about any of the other fucking issues that we have in the world or in the United States or in Florida because I am in Florida. I think it's going to be a huge thing about fucking guns. Do I think it's fair? No, but I think that's going to be the main consensus and that's probably what the mass majority of people are going to vote about are the guns. They're not going to listen to any other standpoint of these politicians. They're just going to listen on the facts of what they're going to do with guns that's it my opinion like i said if you like what i have to say uh please like comment subscribe if you want to give me your fucking hard-earned cash please do that's at patreon.com slash idioms i-d-i-o-m-z yeah baby so the first transgender recruit signs up for to join the u.s military all hail to them cool good groovy grand now my whole thing is you're alienate 
alienating yourself by going on these fucking shows, making it a big spectacle that you're actually join, joining the fucking military. I mean, I don't think a goddamn person would mind if you joined the military if you're fucking transgender. But if I'm looking right here correctly, I'm not listening to it. I haven't really seen much of it. But it looks like she or he or it is whatever that she or he or it wants to be called. Because the pronouns are a motherfucker now, I guess. They are going on television. They're going on CNN. They're freaking having articles. I mean... What the fuck does it matter if you're transgender, gay, or lesbian joining the fucking military? Why do you got to announce it to the world? I guarantee you this person now will be alienated more than they would have been. They're going to be scrutinized harder, and they're going to have to perform better than your average person would without making a big fucking spectacle. It's not a goddamn zoo. It's not a fucking circus, so why make it one? You're here to serve the country if you're joining the military. But to me, it sounds like they're trying to take a stand, a social justice stand. It doesn't sound like they're actually doing anything positive for the military or for themselves. It's just like, hey, look at me, look at me. It's a fucking circus. It's not a show. This is a life, man. The final and last thing is five things Congress could do on guns. I'm going to do this real quick because I want to get off. Legislation to outlaw bump stocks. Two, background checks. I swear they already have that. Raising gun age. They should do. Gun magazine size restrictions. No, because it's to go against the military who had magazine capacities that are far superior than 40 bullets. Banning AR-15 style weapons. Like, they keep posting out. I mean, the ones that look like AR-15s and shit like that, the black ones, they look scarier than the regular wood stock ones. But the wood stock ones do just as much damage. They have a 30 fucking clip, and they have bigger bullets, and it's just it blows my fucking mind because they look scary. Let's ban them. But anyways, like I said, this is Beyond Facts with Dave Phillips. If you like my shit, if you want to see some more, please like, comment, subscribe. Give me money at IDM or Patreon.com com slash idioms and anyways you guys be wonderful and i will see you later hopefully tomorrow and if not i will see you on friday or saturday bye hello 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 you like my messy floor